Hey guys, welcome back to Sharp Passion, all things health and wellness. My name is Amber Sharp, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how Bryce and I built our raised garden beds. Now, this right here is about a month and a half later, so I'm actually gonna do this like a vlog style, and I'm gonna take you back from day one when we first started recording and gathered all of our materials and built these. I hope you guys enjoy, learn a lot, and try out some raised garden beds. Now's the time to build your garden. So we're at Home Depot, and one little tip about getting discounted prices is you wanna get cold wood, C-U-L-L-E-D. Basically like you wanna look for pieces that have like a rotting like that. Uh, and so we get it for 70% off. Cold wood is any particular wood um, that a customer won't buy or is um, damaged. Okay, and how much percentage off do they typically get um, if it is that way? At, at our store, at the Home Depot, it is a 70% uh, markdown from the original price. What's your name? Uh, Laurel. Thank you, Laurel. We hey, appreciate no you. But, you know, for gardening, if you're building a house, then you would need it to be without blemishes. But since you're not building a house, you're just doing a garden, those will work perfect. Two by 12 by eight foot. So we've got our landscape fabric, we've got our gardening tools, we've got our shovel and our hoe, we're going to do some organic blueberries, we've got our gloves and our small shovel, our wheelbarrow, our peat moss, we're doing all organic, um, we got our peat moss and then our vermiculite. This is Mr. Jim, he's the expert. So if you need help with gardening, come on down and see him at Home Depot. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're still, you got the wood? Yeah, we have a lot more stuff right here. Yeah, yeah. Are, are you here? Well, we are ready, so. <laughs> hey. You ready to get out, buddy? Good morning, Bryce and I, we are starting our garden today and we are so excited to have you guys along for the journey. We're actually on our way right now to Uduwa Udua Nursery and Landscaping. And so my coworker, Tony, who's fabulous, she and her husband, Alfred, are coming to help us build raised garden beds and we'll show you guys that process. Um, but also she advised us to take a truck and actually get them to dump soil into it as opposed to buying the soil by the bags because it's cheaper. So we'll give you some tips on how to save money when you're doing your gardening. So we are starting from ground zero today. We're choosing to do raised garden beds because from my research, it seems to be a little bit easier to maintain. And I think it's a little cuter, you know, cause you can like make your boxes how you want to. So we're gonna do the raised garden beds. It's also easier, I feel like on your back cause you can stack them higher. So it doesn't cause as much back pain and you don't have to worry about tilling the ground and pulling as many weeds because you're not dealing with the ground. You're gonna lay that landscaping fabric underneath it to prevent a lot of the weeds growing. So again, we're starting from ground zero we'll take you guys along from the journey we're on our way to get the soil we have a wheelbarrow and a shovel which I showed you guys um, from our Home Depot trip with awesome Jim who helped us get everything so stay tuned as you watch us build our garden we're trying to live healthier and do things organically and save money we're just doing three raised garden beds to start with they're gonna be um, four by eight and then about 12 inches off the ground so you can make them higher, you can make them any shape that you want, um, any dimensions that you want. So stay along for the journey. We're at Udawa Nursery, so it's pretty cool. So cute, I already feel like a master garden person. We have our truck, this is actually our stepdad's truck. We're gonna get this soil dumped in there. It's actually gonna be mushroom mulch because apparently that's the most beneficial for your garden to grow. 
So I'm super fun. You wanna get organic seeds. There's so many different options and it's so exciting. I'm gonna start small and not get crazy. We're definitely gonna have to do some watermelon, some carrots, some spaghetti squash. You know, the things that you know you're gonna use the most of. So cute, I'm so excited. Okay guys, so I have a tip for you. Get you a piece of tarp to lay in the back of the truck prior to getting your soil dumped in the truck to make for an easier cleanup. So this process, we have to go around back to get the soil dumped in the truck. You guys, I am such a nerd when it comes to stuff like this. I am so pumped. Literally, I'm geeking out right now because we're about to start our own garden. Let's see how this process works as they dump it. We're getting mushroom mulch. And then we also had to get vermiculite and peat moss to go into the soil. And I'll explain a little bit later why we did that. It has to do with moisture and making sure your stuff isn't molding. So watch as they dump the soil into the back of our truck. Right here, you guys, how exciting. That right there is one load. We're getting two loads of that bad boy right there. So yeah, your tarp is much needed to protect your bed from funkiness. So this is our mushroom mulch. We get two big old scoops of that. like little crystal like pieces this vermiculite helps to hold your moisture in on a really hot day the peat moss what's the peat moss for peat moss just helps break up your soil and it um the moss actually has some ingredients that are good for your plants Okay, awesome. Kind of a soil amendment. Okay, soil amendment. Great. Here we go.
rosemary here. We already have our little plant here. We bought it like that. So it has roots like this. So when you put it in, you have to break up the roots on the bottom a little bit. So that way it'll attach to the soil that you have down in there. Just put it down in there. And then you keep these little things and that way you don't forget what you're growing. So you got your rosemary.